morning guys 25th of uh, November I'd like to say happy birthday to my mom happy 81st birthday mom I hope you have a great day I'm starting off on the uh, south side here at the Adrian and Aubrey and Adrian's got hit by a deer it looks like it wasn't in there very long but alrighty we'll make this back up I plan on just doing a quick bait and check today uh, the next few days are going to be around zero, so I'm going to head out to the bush and start looking for tracks, but I'm on the sled today, you can probably hear it. I got to get another, I don't have any around my neck, I got them all in a bag on the sled, so see you when we get there. It's ever nice being back in the bush. Seeing all kinds of tracks. I haven't really stopped to pay a lot of attention to them or anything, but probably a lot of deer. Yeah, there's deer in there. Pretty tiny one there. Huh. Yeah, so we'll be uh, able to set some traps on the uh, next couple, three days here. We'll get this uh, line winding out. I'm pretty sure no deer hunters are walking in here. You can't drive in here and I'm making sure I'm going from side to side to make sure you don't try to drive in here. Oh well. Got the Indy. Let's keep moving. I guess our next traps will be uh, the culver there. But uh, we had two snap by deer at the the ground so let's keep going well I'm just coming out of the center of the ground here that explains a lot to me damn it oh good you left your junk behind too well damn it I'm speechless, I don't know what to say. It's hard for my baits to hit when they keep dumping fresh shit out here all the time. Moving forward. I'm just walking out of the gray bush. I didn't even notice this on the way in. I don't know how many you can see, but I see four or five over there. They're smart buggers drive on the other side of that little rise all the time and these guys are just over a little hill. Not much bush there at all. Oh, I've got nothing at the gray bush here but I do have a couple of stinger snares out along the trail so we'll check those two on our way out. Then I'm going to stop and have a smoke with Peter. I think he's working on uh, snowmobiles in the shop today so. Alright, let's keep going. Okay guys, we're at Pete's place having a warm up and a smoke. Say hi Peter. Hello everybody. That's uh, of course you know my mechanic, Peter Gray. He's working on sleds. Everybody brings their sleds to Pete to pick, so I'm gonna even look at mine too. There's nothing wrong with it, but I mean, it doesn't hurt to have somebody that knows look at it, because I know that when I squeeze that one thing it goes, and when I squeeze the other thing it doesn't stop. <laughs> Just a couple quick smokes and a bullshit with Peter and then we'll get out to that uh, hidden house and get around anyway today. Well, we just rolled up on the Tom and Kim bush again. A lot of deer tracks. Looks like we got us a fox. No. That is quite possibly one of the smallest coyotes I've ever seen. That's a He's not very big at all. Uh, we'll pull him out and have a look at him. Hey guys, I'm going to shut you off and undo it and we'll have a look in a bit. And as soon as
soon as I move my rams out, deer kill. Well, they bust up some shit in there. Huh. I got two rams left in here, but they were snowed under, so I don't expect they'll have anything in them. Huh. Wonder if I should throw that on or. I'm gonna leave it right there. Maybe they'll pound some trails. Let's go set. Maybe they already did. Oh, they're walking on top of the damn snow. No, and I can't. Jeez. Okay, there's one. It's buried. And there's the other one, and it's still functional, so. We're gonna leave it. We're gonna, like I say, the next couple three days we're gonna be out here hitting blind trails and whatever we can, finding place for baits. A lot of bird activity here, I'd have to say. Oh, now they're running on top of the snow. Whoa! And I'm up to my giggy. All right, guys, we got a few more on this line to check. Then we'll get to that culvert, Tom and Kim culvert. And broken. Well, oh, damn it. I tell you, I'm just getting used to these big, heavy boots again. And I'm right out of breath. So, that's going to stay there till tomorrow. And I'll get it then. And another one the deer kicked the crap out of. It's been happening way too often. Like I said, the deer are running for their lives and they're running full blast through here. They're not even, you know, he didn't even mess this up much. He must have broke right away. Oh, well, I'm going home. I'm beat. We'll do this all again tomorrow with less clothes on. Oh. I picked up bait at the uh, cow bush because the guy that uh, owns that land decided that right where I got my bait pal is where he wants to put a skidoo warm up track. So, yeah, I got to move out of there. That's the one kite, but man, I don't know how many rounds we got out, but it ain't a lot. We'll get that all changed around in the next couple, three days. Maybe we'll get a video out every three days that way. Okay, guys, I'm going home. Well, guys, it's early afternoon. I'm out on the line here. I'm on the crown. I uh, actually forgot my snares with me last time, so everyone that caught their... I'm re-snaring them today. I couldn't get out yesterday because uh, my water was shut up before I woke up and off till after 4 in the afternoon, so... No warning, no bugger all. They're working on the line, so it's all done now. But next four days above zero or at zero, it's going to be warm and cold at night. So all these rams are going to freeze in every night. I just tucked one in here, put a nice solid jump stick in there, wire it off. That looks like money. There's a dog track on it. So tomorrow and the next few days when we come out, we're going to be homing in on those dog tracks. I went down the west side loop and the center loop on this crown and there's a lot of dog tracks in the bush. Gotta look for them because the deer are pounding them, but they're there. So we're gonna just keep moving along and I'm gonna try and get the uh, cow bush pulled today because they wanna put that skidoo shack in there and I got no say, so let's keep moving forward. Well, we're at the Tom and Kim bush. It was uh, thawing out quite good yesterday. It was plus two. And then right before dusk when it was going to get cold, it rained. So kind of icy and shiny out today. But through this, we caught that coyote that was uh, eating the other day there in here. And big raccoon. Now we got a porcupine. And that's not the same one. The other one was much bigger. So he's done right off the ground. 
on lots of good spots out there. So tomorrow and the next day and the next day is all going to be just setting them up. I'm seeing lots of deer out in the open, so guys don't got to go in that real deep bush to find them. Depends what you're looking for, I guess. All right, we're going to drop a snare out of here and reset this one, so. Still tracks you there. I see weasel right there. All right, guys. Well, we're at the Tom and Kim culvert here. Looks like. Man, I don't know how you guys do that. Not caught in the corner bear, but something tells me he will be. Ah. Hey. All right, let's check that other side. I'll get back to you guys if there's anything else here. Another weasel. We haven't caught one of those in a while. All right, I'll check the other end. Guys, it's uh, Sunday the 28th of November. Sure a lot of bird poop and tracks around here. It's funny, I never saw one come off of it when I drove in. Well, we're back in the heat zone here until Friday, it looks like, so. I'll get out every day, I guess, and start adding to the trails. If they're not using the baits, I gotta hit them on the trail, so. We'll keep on them. I'll do my loop in here, let you know if anything happened. It's almost too damn warm to be on this sled, but yet here we are. Center loop here on the ground still. Found another moose. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but that other one that we found the other day is right over there. And we definitely got one here. I see there's quite a trail back here. Now they hold the head away. I'm going to come out tomorrow, I'll bring a bunch of rams and set this all up. Maybe even throw a little more bait on it. This is right where we were catching some dogs last year, two years ago, right over there. The jump sticks coming across. Yeah, they don't need my baits. They got all this fresh shit. Moose season's been over for a few days, I think. Lots of tracks. I'm sure I can find a place for half a dozen rams around these two kills. It's pretty thick. Pretty thick stuff. All right, let's get over that culvert, I guess. Oh, I'm pulling the cow bush and I walk up on this. This is the one we caught the two dogs in at uh, the cow bush. Ah. <sighs> Uh, I wonder if that's from that batch. I bought four dozen of them in February there. Huh. Hope I don't have to go through this four, thousand, four dozen times this winter. Not a track anywhere around it, as you can see. Just blowed up. All right. I'll pick it up. Well, guys, I don't know what to tell you about this weather I've been having. It's very frustrating. If you would have asked me if I would have thought I would have uh, the amount of dogs I have right now at the start of the year, I would have thought you were crazy, but it's warm out now. So in the daytime, it's uh, melting and at night, rams are freezing in there, certain kind of stiff, but I won't say because I have lots of young guys watching. So I'm breaking rams out. Got them all dug out already. Last couple days it's been pretty nice, so I've been buzzing the outside of all the bushes, checking for ins and outs. 
tomorrow I'm gonna start hitting them and you probably notice I've been uh, homing in on some of them bigger big gut piles out there where they drop everything hide and ribs and everything I don't know why they're hunting them just for the hind quarters or whatever but so yeah I'm gonna hit a couple of those tomorrow I got two days of setting and you know what I gotta get a deer and I forgot all about it and I only got till Thursday now so it's Sunday right now but uh, Pete hasn't got his either yet so we'll probably get on that together and get out there and get a couple quick ones I'm uh, looking over here to my right because uh, young fella shot himself a, uh, a buck I'll get you a shot of that before we go to Nice looking deer. Uh, I don't like hanging them for more than a day because they just dry right out if you do. I'll get mine and I the next day I'm grinding it up so I'll probably do traps Monday, Tuesday and Tuesday I'll go shoot a deer night, Tuesday night. Well, not night, but you know what I mean. At the end of this before dusk and uh, the next day I'll grind it right up and get a little bit of uh, extra bait pile stuff and pulled half the traps out of the uh, cow bush today get the other half tomorrow I I don't know what to say about that you know you get rid of a guy's beavers and then he kicks you off his uh, guy you trapping that is not what I had in mind but anyhow you guys uh, I'll get you a shot of that deer like I said but we're gonna try and kick it in a gear we're on the sled now, I don't, other than the freezing all night, it's just, it's costing me $25 worth of ram, uh, snares every day for the ones the deers are kicking out too, so, broken rams, it's just been a shit storm this year, I don't, I wasn't going to say it, but shit storm this year, and I'm not happy about it, but you know what, we're going to push through it and we're going to get some dogs, so, you guys, Keep moving forward. That's a nice deer. He was a uh, a buck. When he shot him, he shot a little low and took his front legs out. So there is not a any damage to any of the meat out of him at all. He was a uh, three by three. And I know you can't really tell, but that's you know some of them deer we see on shows from Texas. You could probably put three of those deer in this one. They're tiny little things down there. That's why their racks look so big. But yeah, he's a nice looking deer. Get me one of them in a couple of days.